en question. Le président. Please be seated. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And the chamber will start to hear a witness to TCW 1009. And there is um, a UD counsel, Moon Zawan, with the witness. Court officer, please. Huissier audience. In before the chamber invites uh, the witness and the duty counsel into the courtroom, the chamber would like to issue an oral ruling on documents. Dans la salle uh, la va document E382. The International Court Prosecutor's Motion E382 requested that the Chamber hear witness to TCW 1010 and to admit two of two TCW 1010 statements. E319 and E319 23.3.6. In relation to the sub topic on treatment of the Vietnamese. In its memorandum, E380 slash 1, the trial chamber denied the request to hear to CCW 1000 without ruling on the statements. The International Court Prosecutor has today notified the trial chamber through an email that he might use two TCW 1010 two statements while examining upcoming witness two TCW 1009 and requests the chamber's authorization to do so. De la chambre pour le faire. The trial chamber notes that no party objected to the E382 request to admit these statements into evidence and grants this request pursuant to Internal Rule 87.4 with written reasons to follow. The chamber now instructs the La court officer to invite 2 TCW 1009 together with the duty counsel into the courtroom. But first, you have the floor now, counsel for Mr. Kirsten Park. Yes, Mr. President. I would like que, uh, vous avez indiqué, to ask for clarifications regarding what you have just uh, ruled on. We are orally opposed to the co-prosecutor's motion and the appearance of uh, je ne sais pas si ça the witness decision, in regard to the statement. I still do not understand the reason for your decision, and I would like to point out to the chamber that the case on defense team is against both the statement and the appearance of the witness in question. President, although there is an objection, the chamber decided already that the two documents be admitted and the documents can be used to examine the upcoming witness. Les parties pourront donc utiliser ces documents pour l'interrogatoire du témoin.
Sosrai Lok Sasai President Le Président Good afternoon Mr. Winners uh, what is your name Comment vous appelez-vous Answer my name is Prum Sara Je m'appelle Prum Sara President, thank you, Mr. Momsara. Do you recall when you were born? Momsara, vous souvenez-vous de votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born on the first of March 1949. Question: Where were you born? Question: Où êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. I was born in Prejetir village, Bapnum commune, Angkorche district, Province. President, thank you. And what about your current address? Where are you living now? Answer. I am living in Otrai village, Tatao commune, Samlo district, Batambang province. Question: What are your parents' names? Question: Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer: My father's name is Prum Tong, and my mother Nyam Mnyon. Mnyon. Deceased. Ils sont décédés. Question: What is your wife's name, and how many children do you have? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer: Réponse. My wife's name is Wang Rim. We have four children together. Thank you, Mr. Promsara. Based on the Gravity Report, merci, Monsieur Promsara. And to the best of your knowledge, you have no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused that is Putin, Kim Jong or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is that true? Is that true? Answer: Yes, it is true. Question: Before your appearance here, Réponse, have exact. you a, question. have you already taken oath before the Iron Club statue to the ease of this courtroom already? Du génie à la barre de fer situé à l'est de ce prétoire. Answer: Réponse. Yes. Oui. I already took an oath before the Iron Iron Club statue. Serment devant la statue du génie à la barre de fer. President, I would like now to inform your rights and obligations as a witness before the chamber. Mr. Bromsarat, as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. À toute question. Right against. Against self-incrimination, your obligations, Mr. Prumsarat, as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you, as the chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. In addition to this. You must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. Mr. Promsarat, have you ever provided interviews or have you ever been interviewed by the investigator or investigators of the OCIJ if they Happened? How many times did they take place? Answer. Réponse. Yes. Oui. I was interviewed by the interviewer in the field. Interviewé par belong to me in 2007. And later on. I came as a witness to testify on 25, and the testimony, the hearing of testimony, was concluded on the 29, 2009. 
plus tôt. Le President, et c'était en 2009. Have you read or did you listen to the reading of Question. the written records of interview vous -vous lu, vous that you provided to investigator of the ECCC to refresh your memory? Answer. Réponse. Yes, oui. I read them already, oui, and I also reviewed uh, those documents, uh, the documents Et or statements I gave uh, two times, President, to your best rec of your recollection. Que fait, donc, deux fois. Do the written record of interviews that you have read correspond to your answers that you provided to the investigator? Answer. Réponse. After my review and after my reading Après examen de ces documents, of uh, those two documents, uh, they ces deux documents are consistent with uh, what je I can recall à ce in the dont je me souviens avoir dit. President, plutôt, thank you. On the basis of an internal rule 91 bis, of the ECDC, the Chamber will give the floor first to the Defense Team for Mr. Nguyenchi. Before other parties, the combined time for the two Defense Teams is two sessions. Two sessions. One session today and another Une session uh, in two days morning. So you have the floor jours. first, Council for Mr. Nguyenchi. La défense de nos chers. Uh, thank you, Maître Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, good afternoon, bon Mr. Witness. Bon après-midi, Monsieur le Témoin. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions. J'aimerais vous poser uh, quelques questions tomorrow. cet après-midi et demain. Uh, let me start by asking you um, to describe um, your military activities. Pouvez-vous nous décrire vos uh, activités militaires 17 Naples, avant le 17 avril 1975 um, Quand êtes-vous entré dans uh, la révolution Où l'avez-vous fait Etc. Answer. Allow me to give a description of Le témoin. My occupation as a soldier oui, before 1975. I entered the revolution Je suis on dans la révolution uh, 6 uh, September 1970. 6 and I was part of a Compot uh, military. Compot. Question. Um, do you remember which division? Et vous souvenez-vous quelle you division within, vous uh, intégrez dans le secteur de Campot? Answer. Réponse. At that time, the uh, division was not uh, uh, formulated or organized yet, so I was part of the uh, Campot sector's military. Je faisais partie des forces armées du secteur de Campot. Uh, that is correct. Um, um, do you know raison. when the Southwest forces in Kampot um, uh, became de la date merged into a division? Do you remember when that was? Fusion or de, de, de création d'une division des forces armées du Sud-Ouest. Answer. Réponse. I cannot recall the non, exact date, date and exact. month. What I can Je recall is that it was in 1979, said uh, the uh, The Division uh, 3 uh, came into existence la in that uh, southwest zone. Trois a été créé dans les zones sud uh, <coughs> I heard Coppel. you say 1979, before 1975, rather? dire avant 75? Answer. Réponse. Let me clarify the oui, year. Once again, cette année, I left uh, Comport 
sector, the military, les forces du and secteur then join the military in the southwest zone. When the, a division came into existence, it was in 1974. Uh, thank you. Do you remember who the commander was Christian, of Division 3? Question, vous souvenez-vous du nom du commandant de la Division 3? Answer. Réponse. The commander of Division 3 was uh, Mir Mout. Le commandant de la 3e Division était Mers Mout. Um, I will speak to you about other commanders um, Je vais vous poser des questions sur d'autres um, commandants dans ce now. moment. Go back to uh, a particular moment in time. Do you remember um, your division being involved um, in the attack on Phnom Penh uh, in April 75? Answer. Réponse. My division was engaged in the attack Ma on the battlefield in Phnom Penh sur, sur Phnom Penh. in 1975. En 1975. It is true. Vrai. Um, were you yourself Question. engaged in uh, the attack? Were you engaged combat? in mm -hmm. um, the actual fighting, the actual conquering of Phnom Penh? Avez -vous participé à la prise de Phnom Penh? Answer. I myself uh, was involved oui. in it. J'ai participé directement. Can you uh, explain very briefly uh, what what it was exactly that you were involved in? Et vous, vous Which nous part of the fighting did you do? Et quel, à quel combat avez-vous pris part? Answer. Réponse. Regarding. My responsibility is was to be engaged in the attack uh, to the east of Thmat Bong. The Thmat place was called Mong Chen. L'endroit s'appelait Mong Chen. Um, what was Question. your rank at the time you? Uh, quel your division, rather, quel grade was attacking Phnom Penh? What were you? What was your rank? Phnom Penh? Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was the chief of uh, a company. Chef de company. And, and how many Question. men were you commanding? How many? Uh, combatants were under your uh, leadership. De combattants dirigez-vous. Answer. Réponse. I supervised uh, 100 soldiers at a time. soldats sous mes ordres. And um, do you recall how many companies, such Et as your company? were in de compagnies comme la um, vôtre, the battalions and how many battalions were in the regiments de in the division? division? Au sein de la division? Answer to my Réponse. recollection, d'après mes souvenirs, within division 3, la division there were 3 three regiments so within three division 3. Let me clarify. There were three regiments trois within régiments. one Donc, division. There is division, division three. Et dans ce cas-ci, la troisième. And there were four battalions Question. in a regiment. Et quatre is that correct? bataillons dans un régiment, n'est-ce pas? Answer Réponse. to my recollection. Three battalions are made up of uh, one uh, regiment. Souvenir, trois bataillons formaient un régiment. Question. And is it also correct that in your company Et there were um, juste le dire que au sein de votre three compagnie, platoons? Il y avait trois, trois sections.
There were three platoons uh, within my company. Il y avait trois sections dans ma compagnie. Um, your company um, incur any casualties um, in the assault on Phnom The attack on Phnom Penh. de votre compagnie quand vous avez pris la ville d'assaut. Answer. Réponse. When we were attacking on the battlefield. Oui, alors que nous nous étions sur l'offensive um, dans le champ de bataille. It, it, it was normal that uh, soldiers were injured and died uh, because of uh, the battlefield on a daily basis. Car uh, c'était la situation sur les champs de bataille you, au quotidien. Do you recall how many Question. combatants in vous your company died during the attack of Phnom Penh? Au sein de votre compagnie, sont morts dans le, pendant l'offensive sur Phnom Penh. Answer. Réponse. At that time, I could not recall how many combatants died since it happened about 40 years ago. Combatants sont morts, cela remonte à 40 ans. I understand, no problem. Let me now ask you a few questions specifically about the week or the days immediately following the 17th of April 1975. Do you recall where you went once Phnom Penh had fallen? Immediately after 17th of April 1975. Vous souvenez-vous où vous êtes allé immédiatement après le 17 avril 1975? Answer. After Phnom Penh had fallen, I received instructions from the upper echelon to lead my company combatant to Kampung Sam's battlefield. We were on foot at the time. We were walking from Kambo up until Viring, at which there was there were vehicles to transport us directly to Kampongsam. Is it correct that it took your company about five days to reach Kampongsam on the 22nd of April 1975? Réponse. Answer yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Question. I would like to ask you something specific in relation to those seven days. J'aimerais vous poser des questions au sujet de ces cinq jours qui séparent le 17 avril du 22 avril 1975. While traveling with your company to Kampong Som, there were any attacks from the Lonol Army on your company? Des attaques contre votre compagnie? Answer. Réponse. During the journey of five years, said the witness. Pendant ce trajet de cinq ans. We were not attacked by the Lonol troops. Attacked by the Lonol troops. I presume you meant five days. Let me read something to you. Oui, je pense vous voulez dire cinq jours, pas cinq années. Your statement to the Cambodian. Mais laissez-moi inciter ce que vous avez dit au centre de documentation du Cambodge, Monsieur le Président, c'est justement E trois bar neuf un un trois. English. Rn en anglais. Page seventeen. Dix-sept. Or your N zero zero nine seven four one seven zero. Command zero zero nine two six three five three. There is no French translation. Question. So whilst you were travelling to Kampong Som, were there not any attacks? N'y a-t-il pas eu des attaques? And then you answer. Et vous répondez. We had a clash. Il y a eu des heures à Dao Kanchor car Dao Kanchor n'avait pas encore été défaite. À l'époque, Nordom Cheng Rengzi était là. Il n'avait pas encore levé le drapeau blanc 
car il est prévu de se rendre jusqu'à la mer. Mais pendant ce trajet, il a frappé une mine. Alors que je marchais, j'ai entendu le bruit de l'explosion d'une mine et j'ai vu que les soldats levaient le drapeau blanc dans la jungle en tant que signe que Norodom Changrenzi avait été blessé. Vous, vous souvenez-vous d'avoir dit cela aux enquêteurs du centre de documentation du Cambodge Regarding uh, that document, it was it is true that I gave uh, such a statement to the DC Um I'm asking you questions about this particular uh, five days Question, for two reasons. Je vous interroge au sujet de ces cinq jours en particulier um, pour deux raisons. La is, première est que um, the words that you used, raising the white flag. Le terme que vous avez utilisé, um, lever le drapeau blanc. Can you blanc. expand a little bit on that? What, what did you mean when you said that um, you had not raised the white flag yet? Vous dites que and what does it mean if law no soldiers raise the white flag? Qu'est-ce que cela voulait dire lorsque vous dites que les soldats de law no ont hissé le drapeau blanc? Answer. Let me clarify. Concerning Phnom Penh's uh, battlefield, we could see the white flags everywhere in Phnom Penh. However, in the Dok and Jo, white flags uh, were not uh, raised yet at the time. When I reached uh, Dok and Jo and then Kampong Sela, I heard the landmine explosion. I could hear it at that time. And half an hour later, I saw soldiers who, whom I did not know where they were from. And those soldiers were uh, holding uh, white flags uh, and they were walking to us together with the injured uh, combatants. And upon my arrival, I saw the injured soldiers who were being carried, and I asked them who got injured from the explosion of landmine, and those soldiers replied that Norodom Chan Rangsei got injury from the explosion. Upon hearing this, I did not uh, recognize and know who Chan Rangsei uh, was. But before that time, rather, I had never known Chan Rangsei and had never seen him before. And it was that in that time that I, I, I started to know him. And later on, I asked uh, the medics uh, to wrap the wound for Chan Rangsei, and I, I told the soldiers together with Chan Rangsei to rest at the place where we met, since I and my soldiers had to move on to Kampong Sao. She spoke about um, seeing uh, white flags being raised uh, by Lono, uh, so <coughs> soldiers everywhere in Phnom Penh. <coughs> also, the white flag was raised um, um, in the area that you just described. Can you tell la zone que vous the child chamber, please, please, what does it mean, what did it mean in April 75, when long no soldiers or military raised the white flag, what did that mean to you and your company? Qu'est-ce que cela voulait dire pour vous et pour votre compagnie? Based on my knowledge, d'après ce que ce dont je me souviens de l'époque, at that time when I saw the white, ra white flag being raised, lorsque je voyais que l'on hissait le drapeau blanc, it meant that the fighting between both sides came to an end. 
Cela voulait dire que les combats entre les deux parties touchaient à leur fin. And, and I understand, but what, what was subsequently done with the Lono military Question, who had surrendered? Question, j'ai bien compris, mais que se passait-il alors pour les personnes qui s'étaient rendues, les militaires de Lono? I do not understand your question. Je n'ai pas compris votre question. Do you know what was supposed to happen with the Lonol soldiers question, who had raised the white flags? What was aux soldats de Lonol qui avaient hissé uh, le drapeau blanc? Qu'est-ce qu'on devait do faire de ces personnes qui s'étaient rendues? Vous en souvenez-vous? To my understanding, when one side raised the flag, the other side understood camp, from such a signal that the war came to an end. Que les um, let, let me see if I can uh, uh, jog your memory a bit in this respect. Um, I would, Mr. President, I would like to read an excerpt from document E3-24. It is a WRI from um, a witness who has testified in case 002-01. Qui a déposé devant la chambre dans le cadre du premier procès pour le deuxième dossier. It is English. Le RN en anglais 00223581. 00204069. French 00503921. Mr. Witness, Pipoun, um, Pipoun testified the following. A dit he la chose describing suivante. the events uh, in Phnom Penh in April 1975. Um, and let me give you a little Et context so that you know uh, what, what exactly he is saying. Um, I entered Phnom Penh on je 20 suis April 1975 with Son Sen avec Son to Sen look at the situation, afin la situation as assigned by Paul Pot. Paul Pot, qui nous avait I saw that the people were leaving in every direction and all the targets had not yet left. De Phnom Penh, de tous les points Question. De tous les secteurs. Mais were there orders to partie. seek out Question. the enemy? Y avait un ordre qui de Answer, de no. Les to the contrary. Non, au At the time, they told us they, that they feared to be careful of forces hiding in the houses, even though the large forces had already been eliminated. Même si Question. Les plus importantes avaient déjà Were été there écrasées. orders Question. to seek out Lonol soldiers? Qui disaient de rechercher Answer. Les soldats de no, Réponse. because no. they had raised Parce white ils flags ont tous already. Levé le drapeau. Ils avaient déjà there were tous clear instructions not to touch impact them. Il ne pas During war on the battlefield, that was different. En effet, durant Now le temps they de la guerre, sur les champs de bataille, c'était autre chose. Not Après touch la them. victoire, just welcome them and greet them and respond to the questions which they asked us. He said, they were Cambodians like us. Don't touch them at all. Those were the words of Pol Pot. Um, Mr. Witness, just to be complete, um, on 30 July 2012, the same witness was um, confronted with what he said earlier, and he said at around 1532, those soldiers were defeated, they surrendered, the white flag was hoisted or raised, so we did not do anything to harm them. People were advised strictly not to do any harm to those people who were defeated. My question to you is, La question que je voudrais vous poser est la suivante. Witness, Pipun, Est-ce que ce témoignage to, de ce témoin, uh, Pipoun, est exact lorsqu'il s'agit de flag. décrire le traitement accordé aux soldats de Lonol qui avaient hissé le drapeau blanc Tam. Based on my understanding of the statement by Witness Pipoun, 
I think it is correct because at that time, especially my company did not have any plan to come back further because the raising of the white flag signaled that the other side stopped fighting. So I agreed with what Pibun gave in the testimony. Are you aware of any killing of lone old soldiers who had surrendered either within your company de de uh, or the battalions ou or regiments of Division 3? When I traveled from Phnom Penh to Kampong Saum, my company did not touch any Lonol soldiers, even a single soldier. After 17 April 1975. Are you aware of any Question. killing of Lonol soldiers after the war had finished? Et après la fin de la guerre, savez-vous si les soldats de Lonol ont été soldiers exécutés? Officials in the second half of 75 or 1976? Exécutés dans la deuxième partie de l'année 1975 ou en 1976? Like. Let me answer to your question. I only heard about it. Question. Je n'ai qu'entendu parler de cela. But the hearing of this information was after I full I had fulfilled my mission and when I uh, trained at Kampong Saum. Après la formation à Kampong Saum. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Witness. Now, one other question I had in relation to that um, excerpt from your DC camp statement, um, and that is Norodom Chan Rengzi. Um, was he a high-ranking Commander, Cette personne était um, maybe even a -il un commandant de haut rang, peut-être un brigadier général, army? dans l'armée de l'ONNOL. Uh, I knew Norodom Chan Rangsai during the Lonol regime. Sous le régime de Lonol, he was a general, il était general in Division 13, dans la division 13 of the Infantry Force. De I have many questions about him, but I will question, limit myself to one. Questions. Do you know whether at the time he had any connection il était to someone called uh, Son Ngoc Tan. Où il avait des liens Son avec Son Ngoc Tan. Tan. Let me answer. I do not know regarding the information you have just raised. I understand. Have you yourself ever heard of Son Ngoc Tan? Question. Est-ce que vous avez jamais entendu parler de Son Ngoc Tan? I heard his name, Son Ngoc Tan. Réponse Son Ngoc Tan. J'ai entendu son nom. What was it that you heard other than his name? Question. Et qu'avez-vous entendu dire, mis à part son nom? I did not hear any other thing 
about him besides his name. Réponse à part son nom, je n'ai rien entendu. Um, that's no problem, Mr. Witness. I will revisit Ce him um, Nous y later. I think tomorrow when I discuss um, yeah, the, st the study sessions that you had with uh, Son Sen. Um, let me now turn to um, the Vision 164. Uh, is it correct that the Vision 3 that you were company commander in? Uh, at one point in time, it became the Navy Division, Division 164. President, Mr. Witness, please hold on. The Chamber gives the floor to the Deputy International Co Prosecutor. Merci. Bon Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Your Honours. Um, it seems to me that the question is not uh, really appropriate. Uh, I heard... Did Division 3 become Navy Division 164? I think you, you should rather, you should, you should rather Alors, say, did it become a central division within which there was the Navy? We could say, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Navy was a regiment within Division 164. So I think the question should be uh, rephrased. Um, uh, I have no problem. I think there's... Uh, Plenty of evidence Tout à fait, je pense to suggest that, but I'm, I'm happy to ask an open question. I was just speeding up things. Um, Mr. Witness, um, did you at one point in time uh, become a member of the Division 164? Uh, I can still recall that in June 1976, I can still recall that in June Division 164 of the Navy. Est devenue la division 164 de la Marine. Uh, um, Mr. Witness, I think you were right. Um, when you, when you just said that Division 164 was formed in June 67, because both in questions and answers 19 and 20 of your um, WRI, um, that is E319-23, you say that it was in June um, 76. Um, is it correct that um, Division 164 que la division was one out of uh, a number of divisions une division under central un command, under the command of uh, the central army? Uh, I clarified this in, the, in my statement that I gave to the Searching for the Truth group of the Chamber. I told the interviewer that there were 9,000 men. Um, correct, I believe you said between 7,000 and, and 9,000. Correct, je crois um, que vous avez effectivement dit entre 7,000 et 9,000. Mais est-ce que la division um, 164 one of 10 or maybe one of 15 central divisions? Do you recall? Division sur 9 ou sur 10 divisions centrales. In division 164, Dans la division 164, it was under the command of the Central Army. Elle était placée sous le commandement de l'armée centrale. Um, and do you remember in which regiment of division 164 um, you were in? Dans quel régiment 
ou à quel régiment de la division 164 vous étiez rattaché en juin 1976 I was in Regiment 140 within the Division 164. Do you recall um, where your base was, where was Regiment 140 stationed? Where was based the Regiment 140? Based on my recollection, d'après mes souvenirs, Regiment 140 was based. Le régiment 140 at the it at its original place was at Ochotil, Kampong Sam. Était basé à Ochotil, à Kampong Sam, à l'origine. Um, you said that Question, vous avez the total dit number of the division 164 was. Between seven and nine thousand. La division comptait entre sept mille et neuf mille hommes. La division cent soixante-quatre. There is evidence to suggest that in October seventy-six there were about eight thousand six hundred eleven men total in the division. Huit mille six cent onze hommes au total dans cette division cent soixante-quatre. Do you recall how many men combatants or non-combatants were in regiment one hundred and forty? Let's say in October nineteen seventy-six. Regiment 140 had a total number of 1,400 men. When we started the regiment, we had 120 men Lorsque nous avons commencé who were trained il y avait 120 hommes uh, qui avaient été formés in the navy and we navire. got assistance from china la marine plutôt et nous avons reçu l'assistance de la chine and was um, regiment 140 um, subdivided into battalions 42 43 and 44 vous vous étiez vous-même membre du bataillon 44 Let me clarify. Within Regiment 140, there were battalions 41, 42, 43, and 44. I was within Battalion 44, Battalion 44, Company. Company two. Deuxième compagnie. And were you the commander of Company two of Battalion forty-four? Et étiez-vous le commandant de la deuxième compagnie du bataillon quarante-quatre? Kiyom. I was the commander of Company two. J'étais commandant de la deuxième compagnie. In the, um, your WRI E319-23.3.54, um, in answer and question 25, um, you also st state that um, from mid-76 to 79, Regiment 140 had uh, 10 combat vessels, 10 patrol vessels, Tanker and four mine sweepers. Is that correct? Au lieu d'un chef d'interprète, ce corrige, c'est un pétrolier. Yeah, Nikita Tramtrau. 
Yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Um, one point of clarification, you said that you were the commander of Company 2, Battalion 44, Regiment 144. Um, how many men were there in that unit? Uh, how many men were there in that unit? 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 No crowd, my dear, but you mean count up my Roy. I had 110 men under my supervision. Um, the, the reason I'm asking you this question um, is because in your WRI, question and answer 55, you said that you at one point in time also became a commander of vessel 17, um, 10. Supervising 38 crew members. Are both correct, or is one position following the other? Est-ce que les deux sont corrects? Est-ce que vous avez assumé ces fonctions subséquemment? Kiyom, tatuol bentok. I was here. Supervising the vessels. Je supervisais. Les navires. We wrote the signs and identification Nous for vessels from seven ten one to seven ten ten, and I was in charge of vessel seven ten ten. I understand, but were you also at the same time still a commander of um, Company Two, Battalion 44, Regiment 140? I was removed. From Company Two, j'ai été retiré de la deuxième compagnie, and sent to be in charge of the technical training. Et on m'a nommé responsable de la formation technique. As the commander of the naval force, and I had thirty-eight crew members within under my command. Sous mes ordres. I understand now. Just the last small question was that a promotion for you when you became the commander of vessel 1710. When I was Promoted as the supervisor of the vessel. Lorsque j'ai été promu superviseur du navire. It so the promotion meant that I had the technical skills. La promotion. That's why I was promoted from the commander of the infantry force to the vessel commander. Ah, commandant de navire. That's that's clear. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Witness, now let me ask you a question about the general composition of Division 164. Do you recall whether there were also uh, soldiers from the East Zone um, forming part of Division 164? Answer. Regarding the soldiers who were sent to be part of the naval unit, there were around 700 soldiers, which was once based in the east zone. Qui était à l'origine basé dans la zone est. Let me read back to you what you said on this respect. 
um, Mr. Witness, that is your DC 10 statement E3 slash 91113. Oh, sorry, 9113. Um, English page 22, ERN 009 74175 and 90092 President, uh, please slow down. We can copy regarding uh, the identity number of the document and also the UN numbers. Please read them slowly. I apologize, Mr. President. It's E3 slash uh, 91113. That's the DCCM statement. It is English page 22. Uh, ERN 009-74-1175-0092-635-8. It's a question about... Um, the Deputy Commander 58. of Division 164, DIM. Oui, I will ask questions question about him auprès, later. Auprès de um, DIM, le commandant de la division 164. Question, did DIM come Donc as question. chair of the division est committee? Est-ce que DIM est venu yes. en tant que président du comité de division? Um, and then question. Oui, et ensuite, question. So, Donc, 700 eastern soldiers were selected from the division 3700 and was regiment 14476. And the regiment 140 has been created in 1976. End of quote. Answer: Yes. Mr. Witness, you are saying here that those 700 soldiers in the east zone were selected from the division 3700. Is that correct? It's exact. Some laws. Witness, could you clarify your question, please, since uh, it is not clear to me? Je ne comprends pas très bien où vous voulez en venir. Could you repeat your question, please? Question, I do not really understand it yet. Uh, you confirmed that East Zone soldiers formed part of the Division 164, and you seem to say that these 700 soldiers from the East Zone were selected from, quote unquote, the Division 3700 or the Division 3700. Is that correct? It's exact. Le président. President, please hold on, Mr. Winner. You have the floor now, International Deputy Co Prosecutor. Thank you. I believe there is an error in the English document. It appears that it would be Division 3700, Division 3000. The 700 has to do with the figure of soldiers from the East Zone. I believe the confusion, there is confusion in the Khmer version, and we should refer to the English version, which appears to be more correct. I don't think that is correct, Mr. President. Um, Maître Coppe, non, je ne pense pas que ce soit le cas, Monsieur le Président. La division 3 dont nous parlons ici est une division de la zone sud-ouest et c'est de là que lui venait. Moi, je parle ici de soldats de la zone est. Apparently, according to the English translation, d'après la traduction en anglais de ce document, c'était de une division de la zone est. 3700. Uh, I see the witness nod, so maybe I can continue. Du bonnet, je peux continuer. Mr. Wit Mr. Witness, did these East Zone soldiers come from Donc, ces soldats Division 3700? de la division 3700, une division de la zone est. Let me clarify. There was no division 3700 in the East Zone. In fact, there were 700 soldiers. Il y avait 700 soldats. No such number existed. Et 3700, ce chiffre n'existait pas. So, I uh, disagree Je with that statement since uh, no such a number of divisions existed. Pas de numéro de division 3700. And that's my last question because I think we're running out of time. But we are in agreement that 700 soldiers from the East Zone sont venus de la zone est pour intégrer la division 164. N'est-ce pas
Le président. Président. Before we adjourn, Avant de lever I would like to clarify, uh, to ask a question. Je poser une question à des fins de clarification. I have a question for you, uh, Council Coppe, and also for Kis, uh, Defense Council for Mr. Kilson Pond. I know that uh, Kilson Pond wanted Je to ask uh, some questions at the end of his testimony. So how do you coordinate the time among you two in the defense team? Uh, that is indeed the case. Um, I will continue oui, tomorrow. Je vais continuer demain. Et c'est le souhait de la défense de Kyusampan de poser des questions après que les parties civiles et l'accusation aient posé les leurs. Président. Le président. Thank you. Bon, d'accord, merci. It is now time for the agenda. Venu de lever l'audience. And the the hearing will resume tomorrow, Tuesday, 26 January 2016, at 9 a.m. Tomorrow, the chamber will continue hearing the testimony of the winners, Pro Zara, and there is a reserve winners to TCW 849 in relation to the treatment of uh, the target group, in particular women. Please be informed and be on time. Thank you, Mr. Brum Sara. The hearing of your Merci testimony as a winner has not come to an end yet. You are therefore invited to come and testify once again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you as well, Mr. Mungsowan, the duty council. You are also invited to be here with the winners tomorrow at 9 a.m. Court officer, please uh, work with the West Zoo unit to send uh, Mr. Brumsara to the place where he is staying at the moment, and please invite him back into the courtroom tomorrow at 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kirsten Pond and Monsieur back to the ECGC detention facility and have them return tomorrow into the courtroom before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.